go. Ty, chilled as can be. Josh already trying to take his head off. Josh's build is that stocky, walk up, hit hard sort of sort of build. A little bit of a Bovey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But a bit more defense than Bovey. <laughs> Those who don't know who Bovey is, he's... Don't you speak ill of my boy Bovey. Po Post-golden era <laughs> fighter who l literally just walked through everything you'd get thrown at him and throw everything behind every shot. Very aggressive. Super entertaining. I do love that tyre style. They sit back on the ropes. Not a care in the world. Reading the situation. Once again, we got Orthodox versus Southpaw. Very slick young tyre. Yeah, and he's just... You know, it, it, what he throws, he throws well. That was a massive left kick. But great uh, work by Josh, uh, stepping up to a much more experienced opponent. For but sure. that's one thing about the dice. When they start slow, it's not because they can't start hard. It's just they're smart enough to know they've yep. got a 15 minutes of fighting ahead of them. And... Yeah, like don't Andrew Barnum, the... they're not going to blow their load early. See, <laughs> see the, the, big, the biggest difference, I suppose, would be, you know, in the stadiums in Thailand, the first two rounds don't really score, whereas over here, the aggressor, they score, they score early in the, in the fight, they lock away two rounds, then you have to win one of the last three, and you've won the fight, whereas in Thailand it wouldn't make a difference, you know? They don't, the fight doesn't start till the third, halfway through the third even, you know? Mm. Big kick to the junk there. There's those dangerous hands. This is turning into a great little fight. Yeah, and we're only <laughs> two minutes into 15 rounds. Sing Piak yelling out the instructions in Thai, which is nice to hear. Yut, which means stop. Yak, which means separate. There's yeah, big shot there. Thai's rattled. Josh just landed a massive right hand, which rattled the tyre. Yeah, but that, again, the experience just ties him up, stretches him out. Yeah, there's a lot to be for the breakup. For End of that first round. Looking ahead, down further down the card, next up will be Darren Chen versus Yasin Benkachi. From also another French fighter training with uh, Aram at the moment. David Bumpede. My boy. My boy. He's got a big job ahead of him tonight. He certainly does. Taking on Dejerit later on. Uh, Riley Anastas jumping in with relatively short notice, couple of weeks notice against Cody Trey Jamison, the newly recently crowned WMC Australian champion, Nathan Jones Jr. taking on Nick Kiros, Ibrahim Abu Saleh taking on James from Cabramatta Muay Thai. Thank God it's just James because Jen and are wrong. <laughs> not, not a bad effort. Uh, that's another five-round battle. Hugh O'Donnell taking on Jonathan Oulu that for the be a WC Australian title. Fahed Haydar, really fan, a big fan of his fighting style against Kale Wild. That fight is a gorgeous thing. Very much. That is going to be a very, very nice fight. And Justin Sheen versus Kai Wheat Giants. It's an guys. interesting matchup, that last one, eh? That's a beautiful matchup. Yeah. It's a really solid card, guys. So... If you need to, go make some coffee, enjoy a Red Bull, make sure you stay for the whole time. And, and if you get a chance, bring me a coffee. <laughs> There's Ibi, Ibi's in the house.
Round number two, here we go. We all know what Josh's plan is. And the tie's happy to sit back and use that left leg. Beautiful yeah, tee. Beautiful left kick. And using that left kick to discourage the big bombing right hands from Josh as well. Throws a good cheeky uh, left hand around the guard himself, around on Josh. Lovely left kick, left tip. I do love how Josh doesn't have anything but forward. He's, he's just in your face the whole time. He's struggling a little bit to get past that tape, but once he's in that range, he's generally okay. Yeah, and he knows he's got about a window of about 1.2 seconds to let some fury out before uh, he gets tied up. Kick for kick, that was stunning. It's lovely, lovely reactions from both the boys. That just wears past the head, that right hand. Yeah, we'll see later on in the fight if, if the tie still has enough gas tank to avoid those shots. Is, will the IQ prevail when his fitness starts going down? As, you know, a lot of people don't realise that the, the ties, you know, they, they generally come here as trainers, so they're, they're not training full time as fighters. They get by on their experience a lot of the time. And the hard, the hard working people like Josh wear them down, slows them down. They start, they start being out of, misreading the, the shots coming. And even early, uh, the tie is wearing some shots here. But beautiful IQ on him. Yeah, and he just, I guess if he starts to land, sneak in a few kicks and knees to the body earlier on, he can start to affect Josh's gas tank a little bit further down the track too. That left, that left kick on that tie is wow. I do think they ring announced him as Fluke. I think that might be his nickname. Not much of a <laughs> fluke in what he's doing. No, not at all. Some of those shots actually just started to land over there, but it yeah. ties up again, puts the knee guard on. Yeah, very intelligent tie. As I said, we'll, we'll see how he, how he goes late, later on in the fight. Happy to sit back, happy to read what's coming. I love the poker face on tyres though. You never really see that they're tired or, or hurt. Beautiful round. And he just landed that left kick flush on the body just with seconds to go again. The, the precision and speed of that left body kick is just a beautiful thing. Yeah, a lot of people don't realise like in the Muay Thai with, when you're kicking, kicking, up, kicking up to the arms, slowing that arm down like, you know, Josh is a puncher. You've got heavy hands. Take that power out of the arm by, by corking up the arm a little bit. In Muay Thai, kicking the arm does score. If you haven't risen your leg and, and made a solid guard between your arm and your leg, it is actually a score. Not like in kickboxing. But getting kicked in the arms is a non-score, a non non-point. Mm. And that's uh, the distinction you made there. It's a very important one. Raising the leg, bracing the arm, nice strong position, staying balanced, returning back to a balanced position is what you're looking for when you're doing the check, not just kind of wearing it and hoping that, uh, hoping that it doesn't damage your brain. It'll be interesting to see if Josh can maintain this tempo. If he can maintain the tempo and if uh, Fluke can sort of stay with him, it's going to make crazy last couple of rounds. I, I, do, I do think Josh is super fit. He always seems to be, so... I think you'll be ha pretty happy to fight like this for the whole fight. I'm be really curious to speak to um, the JV boys afterwards to see what sort of weight range he can go in, because I can think of a couple of good, interesting fights for him. Mm. Yeah, if I he think, can go I a little think, bit lighter 60, and a little think, bit heavier. Yeah, I think 61's his, his usual weight division, but look, looking like, you know, he's not depleted at, at 61 at, at 60 kilos last night I, I think 57 would be like 
possible for him, you know? Kick for kick, hand, solid right hand, straight down the pipe from Josh. Cotton swept. The tyres happy to go on the front foot now until he wore that right hand. Oh, I, I think we might have a bit of a Moy Carl fight on, on the cards. Walk forward and knee from the tyre. And it's almost, you can set your clock to it when the third round comes. The yep. change in the tempo of the tyre fighters. Beautiful and aggressive there from the tyre. Yeah, different, different fighter now, isn't it? As well as a typical tyre style. And it's a uh, tight <laughs> lock. Demoralising when you think you can uh, just keep that pace going and it's like, oh no, they've got another pace too. Yeah. They've got a different direction too, not just sitting on the ropes, they're happy to, happy to counter. Very good reading of the lower body there from, from Fluke. He goes head hunting, just misses Josh's head. Just got to be careful ducking and be, uh, weaving the Josh. See how long the tie can last at this pace. Mm. He's got to find that happy medium between running forward and, and getting clocked and standing there. Yeah, he definitely doesn't want to put his head where Josh wants it in the way of those hands. Strong right body shot there by Josh. Big right hand land there on the tie. And then locks him up. Acts like nothing happened. Knee guard. Yes, he's, he's is the fitness is the fitness starting to show through or yeah, lack there it's starting to show in his face a little bit, isn't it? It is, yeah. Biting down his mouth guard and sucking sucking air in hard. Yeah, turning his side. Those Aggressive walk forward, guys. And that's what you want to do. Take the body. It looks like he's hurting the body. Now the head. Is this going to get out of the third round? His hands are starting to really come down, Pinky. Yeah. The tyres the tires tired and rattled. Hurting the body. Tough, though. Tough. Big Lovely switch left knees. knees. Oh. Yeah, Ty's going back to standing up. He's, he's looking tired now. His body's hurt. Start to... And Josh's oh, fitness. Do you oh. hear that body shot that. in the corner? Josh, big left elbow there from Josh. And Josh is happy to walk through everything. Josh, not even, not even a breath, not even a deep breath there. Josh is so fit, hey. That was a big, big round there from Josh. Fluke came out that third round wanting to turn up the tempo and Josh just did not settle back down. And it'll be interesting to see what happens in the round four. Hopefully we don't see a phantom punch, Pinky. <laughs> or or something, something spinning. The Chafee boys are looking across the ring. They like what they're seeing. Yeah, very and happy boys. That's nothing uh, gets a fighter going more when he sees his opponent starting to really struggle and wilt. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, you, get, you, you find energy you never knew you had. Yeah, for sure. And I know it's one of those cliches, you know, you tell fighters, the other bloke's tired too, and they don't believe you, but when they can actually see it, yeah. Or when you land that shot that, you, that makes them wince, or all of a sudden when you thought you're unfit, all of a sudden your gas tank fills up again, and you can go hell for leather. And you know, towards the end of that round, Josh, you know, had the big flurry of shots landing, but he also managed to sit 
fluke down on his ass too, which is something he hadn't yeah. been able to do at all early in the fight, at all balance, off balance him do anything. He was quite composed, and that's a good, big telling sign. If you get a tie just dumped to the ground that easily. Round four of five. 60 kilograms, Josh McCullough versus Fluke. Nitrix, Jim. It's not a, not a bad little idea there from Josh to get back on the Fluke and, and wear him out a little bit more, make a little bit more time before he starts swinging again. Doesn't want to get caught while the tie's freshly, freshly rested after the break. Even those kicks have lost their sting now yeah, from Fluke. Yeah, the accuracy and the power, the speed's gone. Yeah. And he's walking into a lot of stuff as well. That was a nice left kick, though. I think Fluke's now trying to land that lucky elbow, which might cut Josh. It's just danger of that thing. You could walk into something. And Josh just needs to go back to some of those body shots, too. Yeah, I reckon you'll leave it for the closer to the second half of this round. Let the tie get a little bit more tight again. There we go, there it is. Beautiful shot. Absolutely beautiful shot. He's, I don't think he's getting up. His corner's halfway in the ring. Surprised Singh Payak didn't wave that off. There we go. Big shots landing there. With that. And Singh it's waves over. the fight off. Great win. Great win by Josh. That'll be his most experienced scalp. Definitely, definitely. And Fluke, not even waiting for the decision, just uh, go straight out. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has called a stop to this match by way of TKO in the fourth round. To your winner from the blue corner, Josh Fuck. Great win by Josh, massive and uh, win, really enjoyed watching that performance. Yeah. Very impressive.